All right, we're here with Coach Dina Richard of the Mercier's women's basketball team, just taking a look at the first half of the season. The Lakers are 7-5 and five through 12 games heading into Western Division play. You guys are 7-1 and one your last eight games after starting out 0-4. Uh, what's been going well? You know, I think it's mostly on the defensive end. Um, our intensity level is raised um, to another level. Um, our seniors have stepped up tremendously. Uh, I, you know, I think we've been mixing up our starting lineup a little bit, and I think it's just kind of sparked a few people. And um, they've just been playing hard and with a lot of heart. You guys started out 0-4, and then, like I said, since then you guys have been playing, playing really well. Was there a turning point? Was there something in practice? Was there something, a moment in a game? Was there a meeting? You can look back and say this was where we turned things around? You know, I don't know if it was so much a meeting or I really feel like, honestly, it was our seniors. I mean, they just kind of stepped up and said, come on, guys, let's turn this around. We're really tired of losing. Um, and they're just, they have been taking the bull by the horns, and they're going with it. Um, their leadership has been great. Uh, you know, I think it's just more of a team-oriented group of young ladies that we've had in the past. So, I mean, they're just really m more so meshing together, I feel like. In the first four games, I think we're kind of still, you know, figuring things out and where do we go, where do we fit, you know, what's my role. And maybe that just is part of it and just clicked at that point and, and we've been running with it. Okay, this is the first year with the full crossovers. You got to play all, 80, all eight teams from the Eastern Division. Um, how was that a change from previous years when you just played four and had more non-league games? Was it something you enjoyed, something you would change? You know, I enjoyed it. I think the travel aspect is the only thing that I, that I don't particularly enjoy because we can play teams closer to us. You know, I think it's a good test for us. Okay, uh, how was competition-wise East to West? Do you feel like there's a big difference, similar similarities? You know I wouldn't want to compare them, but I do feel probably the West, to me, in my opinion, I think we'll struggle a lot more with. I think we'll be competitive, but we might struggle a little bit more. They're, they're, they seem to be just bigger players, you know, tougher. Not, not so much skill-wise, but, you know, it's hard to compare because you haven't seen them yet, and most teams are very young this year. Um, but it just seems like it's a, a different type of an athlete, you know, not your quick, scrappy athlete to a, more of your, your big, solid kid. So I think it'll be different. All right, you guys start out with Clarion on the road Wednesday, and then you come home for three games after that. What are you guys trying to do getting into the Western Division play? You know, I think we just need to have a good spark starting it on Wednesday, and I think Clarion will be a good place to do it. We don't typically play well at Clarion, you know, so hopefully this will be the year we turn that around, um, and then coming home for three games is going to be huge for us. The top three teams pretty clearly here in the West right away are Edinburgh, Indiana, Gannon, and you guys play them right in a row after Clarion and Slippery Rock. Obviously, you don't want to look too far ahead, but those seem to be the three top teams. I believe, I believe they only have two losses between them this year. What do you guys, how do, how do you approach a stretch like that? You know, I think it's just a focus. Uh, we, we just need to buckle down and really focus on the task at hand and, and the team that we're playing. Um, they're all very similar teams with obviously different sets that they'll run and different, you know, def defensive concepts that they'll do, you know, versus us. But, you know, I feel it, it'll be a really good stretch of really just buckling down and playing with your mind and your body because we're going to have to use both. I mean, we're going to have to put the brains with the physical and, and, and just get it done, you know, and that's, that'll be a good test. Um, I think we're ready, and I think they're, they're ready for it. Story of the year so far has to be Nikki Fredrickson. She's really, after three years of being a pretty good role player, this year has kind of stepped up, and she's the leading rebounder. She's scoring over 10 points a game, player of the week last week. What's she been able to do this, uh, this senior year for her? You know, Brian, we talked about this before, and I think for her it is just confidence. It's always been there. She's always been capable. She's had the smart. She's had the athleticism. It's all been there, minus the confidence. And I think she just, you know, she just was, she's done. I'm going to play, and this is my year. And her confidence, and she's riding it out. And, you know, and I don't want to talk too much about it because I think she's just, she's just playing. And it's finally really good to see her stepping into that role. So um, she's just been tremendous on both ends of the floor. Okay, uh, your leading scorer this year is a freshman, uh, Lindsey Stamp. So just talk about what she's brought to the team as really the only new aspect to the team um, of, uh, in your rotation, really, from last season. Right. Um, Lindsey, she's a tremendous athlete. I mean, there's no question. She has un uh, undeniably she can score the ball, you know. And, and there's just a lot of things, I think, that she's learning that she that's new to her. You know, she is new to our group of young ladies, but, you know, they've welcomed her. You know, she's in, and, and we all know that, you know, she's going to be the kid that we're probably going to go to down the line. Um, I think she knows that, too, but she's still got a lot to learn, and she, she's accepting that, you know, and I feel like once she gets that taken care of, she's going to be one of those unstoppable. You guys have, as you mentioned before, kind of 
toyed with the starting lineup a little bit, toying with some different defensive looks and some different lineups. Is that something that you plan to do all along? And is that something that just comes up when you realize that you have players that maybe can play different positions than you think? Yeah, you know, I think the difference is we have the capability and the versatility to do that right now. I, I like to play the same kids every game. Game in and game it's just not the same, though. I mean, we have different kids that show up on different nights, and we're just kind of we're, we're going to run with that for now because that seems to be what's working. And I think that also keeps it fresh for everybody else, you know, because your number could get called any time. And I, I think that's kind of exciting for a player that maybe you know your seventh or eighth man off the bench woman, and she, you know I feel, I feel like that might just keep it exciting for them and keep them hungry to play. Rest of the year, if you were looking at just a couple things that you really wanted the team to maybe improve on that could let, allow them to compete in the Western Division, what would they be? What would they be? Um, really buckling down and just executing our offense. Um, I'm very happy right now with our, our defensive mentality. You know, we sit down, we're gritty. We're you know, we get down there, and we you know, we just play hard nosed. Um, on the offensive end, you know, I think we're kind of loose with the ball. I mean, I think we need to take a little bit more pride in possession of the ball. Um, maybe not shoot the ball so quickly. You know, I think they feel like, oh my gosh, I'm open, so I need to shoot it now. But you know, we really try to preach it. You know, the second time you touch the ball, you're going to be more open than the first. And I think that's the one thing is is really just focusing more and executing more on the offensive end. On 15 games, you had two of the top players of the last few years, including Amy Achinsky, who's now on the bench as one of your assistants. What's the biggest change between last year's team and this year's team? Well, yeah, we've been talking about it this whole time. It's different defensive mentality. I mean, you know, for the first four years I've been here, we really didn't have a problem scoring the ball. We had, you know, we had Amy inside. She gave her the ball, she would go score. Um, it was pretty, it was pretty easy, you know. And now it's kind of we got to fight for every bucket that we get, um, but we do that with our defense. Like that has just it's changed our game tremendously. I feel like our aggressiveness on the defensive end has sparked our offense. So, I mean, in a nutshell, it would be the defensive end. Great. That's all I need. Thank you very much, and good luck the rest of the season. Thank you.